Did you know that the wind energy sector is facing a new challenge? It's true. As the demand for clean energy grows, so does the need to address the end-of-life phase of wind turbines, especially those giant blades. Stick around to learn why recycling these blades is so important and how innovative solutions are shaping a sustainable future. According to Wind Europe, around 14,000 blades could be dismantled across Europe in the next five years. That's between 40,000 and 60,000 tons of waste. With the lifespan of a wind turbine being about 25 years, we're now facing a wave of decommissioning old turbines. The wind energy sector is booming, providing clean, inexhaustible and safe energy. In 2021 alone, 840 gigawatts of wind power capacity were installed worldwide, supplying more than 7% of the global energy demand. However, most of the environmental impact from renewable energies occurs during manufacturing and dismantling. This is why recycling wind turbine blades is so critical. Take Spain, for instance. With 1,300 wind farms and around 22,000 wind turbines, Spain ranks fifth in the world for installed capacity. But with great power comes great responsibility. The challenge lies in efficiently recycling wind blades made from composites like fiberglass, carbon fiber, and various resins. One strategy is repowering, reusing old blades in other wind farms, or converting them into architectural elements like bridges or bike racks. Yet, as wind energy continues to grow, repowering alone won't be enough. By 2030, Europe could see up to 5,700 wind turbines dismantled annually. So, what are the alternatives? Let's explore the three main types of recycling for wind blade components. First, mechanical recycling. This involves shredding the materials, which can then be reused as fillers in building materials or plastics. Techniques like mechanical grinding and high voltage pulse shredding are common. Next, thermal recycling. Here, the blades are incinerated, producing energy and breaking down composites. This method preserves some characteristics of the fibrous materials, making them suitable for reuse. And finally, chemical recycling. Using solvents and thermal processes, this method separates the resins from the fibers, allowing both materials to be reused. Leading the charge in blade recycling is Energy Loop, a company promoted by Iberdrola and FCC Ambito. They're building an innovative recycling plant in Spain, aiming to recover materials for various industries like energy, aerospace, automotive, and more. To make this vision a reality, we need to promote the use of recycled composite materials. This requires regulatory support and business incentives. And with ongoing research, we can even use these recycled materials to create new wind blades, achieving greater circularity in the industry. Wind blade recycling is not just a challenge, it's an opportunity to innovate and create a more sustainable future. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content on renewable energy and sustainability.